Hi to all, welcome to RAMS Android Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss how to display maps in Android applications. First of all, I have created a project called <coughs> Maps, Maps Project. Once you created the project, open your build.gradle file. In that build.gradle file, you need to add this dependency so where you can get this dependency just type in the google adding or otherwise uh, setup google play services in uh, android studio so open this uh, website and here here you can get this one so copy this and uh, just uh, paste under dependencies after that you will get an option called sync now just uh, proceed with the sync now next you need to uh, create a means you need to generate a signing report why because in order to display the maps we need a maps api key from the google in order to generate that maps api key we need to give the information of our application package name and sh1 fingerprint key so let us see how to create sh1 fingerprint key either android studio right side of the android studio you can see the gradle and open that uh, maps android and means what are the your application name and under that uh, open android folder and click on signing report once you click on signing report you can see uh, right side bottom of the studio gradle console open that one if you are opening that gradle console you can get here sha1 fingerprint key and after that Sign into your Google account and type in the Google Google API console and open this website console.developers.google.com. After opening this, you will see here you need to set the option called create project. So here I am giving a maps Android. After that, click on create. Once project created, it is going to open that project now only here. And under Google Maps APIs, you need to enable this Google Maps Android API. So just um, click on that uh, enable button. So it is enabling the service for my application. After that, you need to proceed with the create credentials. Under that, uh, you need to find. Okay, do one thing. Click on left side credentials. And from this drop down, select the API key. And here, you need to select restrict key. In the next window, select Android apps. And click on add package name and fingerprint. So here, we need to add package name as well as SHA1 fingerprint. So copy the fingerprint key from here, from the studio and uh, add here and after that uh, package name of your application and the package name we are taking from here and I'm going to click on save see maps API key was generated now we need to come to the Android studio and we need to write a program to display the maps so first you need to add some permissions in the manifest file so which permissions you need to add in the sense just to select uh, RAM Android and uh, right side of the screen under 2016 January select uh, Google Maps example in that example you can see in the manifest file there are permissions and here you need to change your means you need to add your package name and after that you need to add these two metadata tags under your application tag and here you need to place your maps api key so already we have generated the maps api key so just taking that maps api key and adding here once you've done that one in the XML file means in which activity you want to display the maps 
in that XML file, you need to add this uh, fragment tag. So opening this XML file here, the main activity XML file, and that I'm changing the layout to the linear layout. And these properties are not required, so I'm, I'm giving a property, orientation property. I'm giving vertical, and instead of the text view, we are taking the fragment. Once we've done this one, so we can execute the application, we can see, are we able to get the maps or not. So by default, the running configuration in, in a um, signing report, so you need, to get, uh, you need to go to the run menu, under that select run option, and select the application. Then select the emulator, let us see, are we able to get the output or not. Usually, uh, now these days, uh, studios are taking some more time to execute the applications. Nothing we cannot do, so just we need to wait for the output. <laughs> and uh, if you like my video, you can subscribe my channel below by click on subscribe button. And you can share my video and you can like my video and you can find some more code in my blog called rhymes and just if you type in the google you'll get my blog thank you for watching we we'll see the output we we'll see the output And uh, some of you may not get these maps in the emulators. So at that time, you need to run this application in your real device. Uh, then you will get the output. So whenever you are running this application in your uh, emulator, it will show you. You need to update Google Play services. So some emulators are not coming with the Google Play services so pre-installed. So that time, you need to run this application in your real device. Then you will get your output. Thank you for watching.